Hello everyone, it's Bill from One Benny Bill. Today we're going to make banana bread. From scratch, banana bread. Start off with with one and three fourths cup of self rising flour, half cup butter, three fourths cup of sugar. I'm put in with the flour. I put all the dry ingredients in one bowl, wet ingredients in the other, and I'm going to mash down the bananas in the other. So three quarters cup of sugar, two eggs. I'm using some four bananas. I like the banana flavor. And you want to use ripe bananas. Don't use green bananas. It just doesn't work the same. Doesn't work the same. You don't have to dice them up, chop them up. I'm doing it, and then I'm going to do it with a fork. But uh, meantime, we have the oven preheating 350 degrees. While we're preparing everything, great source of potassium. Also used quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. You can use more depending to your taste, and some uh, baking powder. I Put about a, about a teaspoon in the baking powder. Two eggs, and with the butter, and take your bananas. Take a fork, just smash them down. Some folks like to use a beater, a mixer. You don't have to. I like chunks of bananas in my banana bread so you can taste the banana all the way through. That's why I put extra banana in and the chunks. You can use anywhere two to four bananas. Works out really great. And a banana bread. Betty Bill. Today we're going to make banana bread. We have some bananas that were just a little overripe. So uh, we went ahead and we're going to go with some banana bread here. Uh, first thing you want to do is I use three bowls. And uh, one I use a banana that had four bananas. You can use anywhere from two to four bananas depending on your on your taste. How much banana flavor you want in there. I took them, I sliced them and uh, diced them and I mashed them up with a fork, just a fork in one bowl. The other bowl I took a half a cup of butter and two eggs. Mix that in there. The other bowl I have my dry ingredients. I have one and three quarters cup of flour. I have three fourths cup of sugar. I have a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and I have one teaspoon baking powder. Mix them all up and uh,
Okay, I've got all the ingredients going for me here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the eggs, put the flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, and I also put in about a quarter teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. You can use a little bit more if you wish. And just kind of blend this in. You don't want to over stir it. Otherwise your bread will be a little bit on the tough side. So just kind of fold that in there. You can also add nuts if you like. Walnuts, pecan, hazelnuts, whatever type you like. We do have a uh, son that's allergic to nuts. So uh, we usually stay away from them. With most star items. You want to make sure you want to stir this, get it all the way to the bottom, fold, fold everything in, and then just go ahead and add your bananas. Oven's been preheating at 350 degrees. I have a loaf pan, uh, approximately. 4 by 8 loaf pan, 3 4 inches deep, that I have sprayed with uh, a little oil, folded the bananas in here, and now we're all set. Take our loaf pan, just a regular loaf pan. Being a senior, I like to save on dish detergent, so the less utensils I get dirty, the less I have to wash. The more energy I have when I'm all done with this stuff. And not a bunch of bowls. <laughs> but anyway, it sounds good. And that's all there is to it. Quick and easy banana bread. Okay, we've got this all ready for the oven now. We're going to put it in the oven for 350 degrees for approximately an hour. Or till your toothpick. I use a toothpick where you put it in and it comes out clean. It should be done. Thank you. We'll be back in a second. Whoops, an hour. Ah, the banana bread, fresh from the oven. Just pulled it out, it's going to let it cool about 10 minutes or so, and then take it from the pan. And give it a try. Thanks for watching.